Hey guys, welcome to the Bad Book Reviews. Um, I have a book review for you guys today on Shiver by Maggie C. Lauder. I know I'm super late on a book review for this, but I don't care. Um, I'm not like everybody else. Everybody. I mean, I'm not like a, a lot of people who, when the book is first out, they go ahead and read it because everybody else is reading it. No, it could take me a while to, to get to a book. Um, so, um, yeah. But, um, I just finished this a couple of days ago. And I finished it. I was on, let me find it. I think it was on page 138. And then I downed the rest of that, the rest of the night. Because I just felt like I had to. Um, if you don't know, this book has colored fonts. Um, I've heard a lot of people say they don't like that. But it's dark enough to where you don't really notice. So, I really don't see the big deal. But, um, Shiver by Maggie Seavotter. I will read you the summary if it has one. Okay. In all the years she has watched the wolves in the woods behind her house, Grace has particularly been drawn to an unusual yellow-eyed wolf who, in his turn, has been watching her with increasing intensity. <coughs> increasing intensity. Okay, so... The first thing I have to say about this book is that cover is beautiful. Um, it is so simple, yet it is just really pretty. And um, another thing is, yeah, I never had noticed that there was a wolf right there. I thought that was just like a tree trunk or something, but that's cool. From the first chapter towards... Uh, Chapter 13, I guess, it was really draggy. It was, it wasn't boring, but it was just like, uh, okay, get to the point, you know what I mean? And then after that, it got um, really good, but then it slowed down again towards like page 200 and something, and but then it picked up again. It was just like back and forth. But I thought that this story was so damn cute now I mean I have to say that because that's what I feel I feel like the story was so cute um, I really like Sam I to me when I see him in my head I don't see him as that weird emo guy that she sort of pictures him as I just see him as like it's just a hot guy who turns into a wolf no not Jacob Black so um I really liked the characters. I thought that they were executed okay. And um, I really liked um, Grace as a main character. And I like that she stood up for herself uh, sometimes. Um, when she um, goes into the woods to save them, she sort of just like takes rain and wants to save them and stuff. And um, what happens is, um, I, don't think, I don't think this can be considered a spoiler because, I mean, what happens is, um, she likes this wolf, and she sees him all the time, and he, um, gets shot, and he turns into a human, and it bounces back and forth from her, Grace, and Sam's point of view, and it has the degrees, and whenever it's hot, he is a human, and whenever it's cold, he's a wolf, and he, um, he gets shot, and he turns into a human, and she has, like, this... You know, she has a little bit of a time with him. She gets to take care of him for a little bit. And, you know, they like each other a lot. So they start, you know, getting to know each other. And that's the part that I like that. I thought that was cute. And there's a part in here that I really could not stop laughing at. I don't know where it's at. I cannot find it. But she's laying on her bed and she's like, it's cold down there. If you want to come up? to my bed, you know, you can sit here as long as you behave, and then he's like, I don't know, and then she's like, just come up here, and then he, and then it says, he came to my, he came onto my bed obediently, and when it said obediently, I seriously was just laughing my ass off at that part, because he is a wolf, you know what I mean, and for her to say obediently is like, he's a dog, he's like, bitch, get up here. <laughs> I just thought that part was funny as hell.
<laughs> I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. But other than that, it was a really neat story. I like the characters. Um, I am not going to re-linger because I was satisfied with the ending and the... I was satisfied with this book. And I was satisfied with the ending. I did not see the ending as a cliffhanger. Everybody says that the ending is a cliffhanger. Um, I don't see the ending as a cliffhanger at all. Um, to me, a cliffhanger is... I put my finger on the trigger and pulled. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, what happens next? They... That's not... This doesn't seem like a cliffhanger. And to me, it's a good ending. And I liked it. And I do not feel the need to go on to the second or third book. I don't know if you guys ever get like that. When you read the first book and you're sort of satisfied with it. And you're satisfied with the ending enough to where you don't feel like you need to go on to the second one. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Um, and I, I kind of really don't like the fact that this one has other point of views in here. Like, this one is from Cole... Sam, Grace, and some girl named Isabel or something. Yeah, I really do not like that. So, um, that's what turned me off about the second one. But other than that, I thought it was a good book. I'm glad that I read it. So, I'll see you guys later.